My dear kids, with today's video, we are going to learn how to create a small VESA card by using Microsoft Word. Now before starting the VESA card, you all need to know two things. First one is, you all need to know how to download a picture from the Google. Second thing is, you all need to know how to get a screenshot. Now we have already done two videos, right? So you all can go through those videos and practice them. Alright, so I'm going to start Microsoft Word. Now if you are not familiar with these steps, just go through the previous tutorials and practice. Right, I will click this Word application. And then I'm going to take a blank document. Alright. So the first thing what I'm going to do is, I'm going to select a suitable size for my VESA card. Now in this example, we are going to create a 5 size VESA card. So to change the size of your document, you all can go and click this layout tab. And then you should click the size option. So from here, you can give A5. Now if you want a bigger size that means like an A4 sheet, you can select A4. If you want a more bigger size, you can give even A3. Right, so I'm going to select A5. So I think you saw my uh, document became a bit smaller. Alright, so by now I have downloaded some pictures from the Google, I'll show you. So in my desktop, I have created a new folder called Vesak. So inside this, I took some pictures. So to my Vesak folder, I saved some pictures like some lotus flowers and some pictures of lanterns. Okay, so you can select any picture you like from the Google and download it into one place so that we can easily insert them into our document. Right, so I'll minimize my folder. Okay. So as the first step, I'm going to insert a picture here, right? So you can use the insert tab and then my VESAC folder is in the desktop. So I'm going to click the desktop option, then the VESAC folder. Alright, here it is. So I'll start with Lord Buddha's picture. I'll click this one and give insert. So once after you take this picture, you might feel like you couldn't move your picture anywhere, right? Now if you want to create your VESA card, you have to move this picture and arrange it properly, okay? So what I'm going to do is, I'll select my picture like this. After that, you should go to your format tab. And remember, if you don't click on your picture, the format tab doesn't appear. So that's why I told you, you have to click on the picture, right? So go to format and click the wrap text option. From here, you need to give tight, okay? Once you uh, change the wrap text option into tight, you can move your picture anywhere, okay? Alright, so I have uh, finished my inserting picture part. Now I am going to put a suitable background for the image. Okay, so to do this, we are going to use our design tab. So in the design tab, we have option called page color. Okay, so click the page color option. And if you are okay with these colors, you can change the color like this. But I need a dark blue one. So I am going to go to more colors. And then custom and I'm going to select a blue color with uh, dark variation okay so I'll click OK so I have fixed my background color like this okay now I can fill my empty spaces with my lanterns and the lotus flowers so you can follow the same steps as before and I'm going to take the lanterns first. Um, 
first let's uh, fix the wrap text options here also I'll put tight now I can move it easily so you can see the picture is too bigger for the players I'll make it a bit smaller okay right so once I'm uh, trying to uh, move this picture the document doesn't let me to move it okay so the problem is our margins right so I'm going to fix my margins into zero so that I can move my lanterns onto the top right so let's go to the layout and then the margins and I'm going to put margins as zero okay now my lanterns are on the correct place I'm going to make it a bit large right so I need another set of lanterns I'm going to copy and paste without using the same insert tab again I'll select my picture then I'm going to go to my home tab then copy again paste okay so the same thing came here I'm going to flip this image a bit because you can see this branch is not suiting here right so I'll click format and from the rotate option you can give flip horizontal now we have practiced all these parts with our previous videos so you all can watch them and learn these steps if you can't remember okay so I'll change the size a bit all right now it suits well okay so now I'm going to place my lotus flowers on the bottom of my card right let's go to insert then pictures okay I'm going to select the lotus flowers and then insert so you can see it's a bit larger I'll make it a bit smaller before that let's fix the wrap text right this much is enough so I'm going to uh, take uh, some copies of my lotus flower I'll select it boom copy and paste okay I'll uh, make the second flower a bit large let's copy these two again again now you can arrange your Vesak uh, lotus flowers as you need right so if you like you can uh, put a small reflection for your lotus flower okay I'm going to select my picture like this then the format tab picture effects from here let's give a small reflection right for this also same select the image format picture effects reflection let's do the same for the third lotus flower also i'll make this lotus flower a bit larger like this So the picture adding part is totally finished okay now you can see my Vesa card is a bit empty without a wish okay so I'm going to put a small greeting for the Vesa card uh, to do this I'm going to use word art right so I'll click insert and from the text group I'm going to select word art and we are going to select this golden card right I'm going to drag it here and let's type happy Vesak day okay so you can see the font is not much matching for the purpose right so I'll change my font style like this and I'm going to make it a bit large ok 
it. I think now it's okay. Let's make Lord Buddha's picture a bit large. Right, so I'm going to decorate my text a bit. Alright, so we are done with our WhatsApp card. Okay, my dear kids, so you all also can do a nice WhatsApp card like this and forward it to us through Microsoft Teams, right? But don't forget to mention your name as well as the class, right? So I hope this uh, part is very clear for you. So you all can download more beautiful pictures than this and just try to create a creative and a peaceful WhatsApp card. So, see you with the next video soon. Thank you very much.